Hello, my friends. It's Mrs. D here. I hope everybody's keeping safe. Today I'm going to read a read aloud for you from one of my favorite books, The Very Hungry Caterpillar. Is everybody ready? The Very Hungry Caterpillar by Eric Carle. Guess what Mrs. D needs? Her glasses. In the light of the moon, a little egg lay on a leaf. See it right there? One Sunday morning, the warm sun came up and pop out of the egg came a tiny and very hungry caterpillar. There he is. He started to look for some food. On Monday, he ate through one apple, but he was still hungry. Let's count. One apple. One. On Tuesday, he ate through two pears, but he was still hungry. Let's count the pears. One, two. On Wednesday, he ate through three plums, but he was still hungry. Let's count our plums. One, two, three. On Thursday, he ate four strawberries and he was still hungry. Let's count our strawberries. One, two, three, four. On Friday, he ate five oranges but he was still hungry. Let's count those oranges. One, two, three, four, five. On Saturday, he ate through one piece of chocolate cake, one ice cream cone, one pickle, one Swiss cheese, one slice of salami, one lollipop, one piece of cherry pie, one sausage, one cupcake, and one slice of watermelon. Let's see if we can count all of these things he ate. One, two, three, four, Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Good job, boys and girls. And that night, the caterpillar had a stomach ache. I would too. The next day was Sunday again. The caterpillar ate through one nice green leaf. And after that, he felt much better. Now he wasn't hungry anymore. And he wasn't a little caterpillar anymore. He was a big, fat caterpillar. He built a small house called a cocoon around himself. He stayed inside for more than two weeks. Then he nibbled a hole in the cocoon, pushed his way out, and what do you think happened? He was a beautiful butterfly. If you guessed that, you were right. The end. 
I hope you enjoyed that story, and I will try to do some more for you. Take care, and make sure you're listening and behaving for your families. Bye.